Good afternoon, class. Today I have with me one of my greatest friends since high school, Rosalind Rodriguez, who I will be interviewing about a conflict that she has had in her life. Um, I've had this like ongoing personal conflict with um, my dad, who I'm very close with. is me and my sister. I have a twin sister. So we recently um, have been looking at places to move out in, well, move into so we can move out of our house, just me and my sister. It's a crowded household, and so we felt like we needed our own personal space. So we've been looking at places behind our parents' back because we don't know how to tell them. One day, we went out to eat. With, we took our parents out to eat, and it was at a mall, and we passed by this furniture spot. And we said some sort of joke. What was the joke about? So I told Anna, oh, let's make a joke about like, you know, that we're going to buy furniture for our new house, for our new apartment in front of mom to see what she was going to say. Right. So we're like, oh, mom, this is where me and Anna are going to buy furniture for our, our new apartment. But it was just, it was just a joke. She was like, um. You really think it's that easy to move out into your own apartment and pay your own bills. Obviously, she took it personal. And a couple of days later, my dad was in his feelings. He was very hurt. He was, you know, not in the best of mood. He kind of pulled me aside. And obviously, he was upset. He was like, I heard that you wanted to move out. That you were going to move out. And before I even had time to kind of explain myself, he didn't really let me explain myself. He kind of, he was just like, kind of jumped to a conclusion. And he was just like, if you plan on moving out, don't bother coming back because we're not going to be here for you. I feel like he was hurt more of the fact that he found out through your mom or like instead of you girls telling him and sitting him down and mm -hmm. I think I think it was more because being that me and Anna are his youngest kids, his babies, he kind of took it in a way where, like, man, like, my girls are, like, growing up and they don't need me anymore. So I feel like he kind of took it that way, like, re really personal. He was just hurt. Couldn't accept the fact that we're growing up and eventually we're going to, you know, need our own space and our own responsibility. So after that conversation what was said and how did it elevate so after that um like i said he didn't really let me explain myself and I, he didn't give me time to tell him that it was just a joke because we never like put down a down payment for an apartment or anything that, anything like that we were just looking for places so it wasn't like set in stone he was still mad and he kind of like yelled at me and said things like you know don't bother coming back like that so that hurt me and so we went, I went to my room and I kind of like locked myself in there and I didn't talk to my dad for like two days. What was it? He came into the room right after and um, he was so mad. Like he was just so mad. He started arguing about something else that wasn't even like relevant to what he was upset about at first. He grabbed the broom and like slammed, like broke my mirror. Like he took his anger out on the mirror. And I was just like shocked, like I didn't know where it came from. And um, he just like, he didn't say anything. He just like stormed out and slammed my door. So just to rephrase, you said that you were shocked because of how he had reacted. Do you, did you feel shocked because the fact that he broke your mirror or at the fact that he was not that type of person and like the type of relationship that you guys had was mm -hmm. not, you know, violent or like based on discussions and yeah, yeah. stuff like that shocked because um he's not that type of person and because he took something that started as a joke to a whole nother level and it was like i didn't know if he was upset because he found out through my mom or because he felt like we didn't need him or you know because my dad always been like you know like the provider and when he feels like we don't need him anymore he feels like useless 
And after his reaction towards your mirror, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Well, I had to clean it up, obviously. <laughs> I was really sad. I was upset. Like, you know, I started crying because, you know, I was like my dad. He's like my teddy bear. And it's just like to see, you know, somebody they care about so upset. And it's just like you kind of like start to think like, you know, like, what did I do? What did I do wrong? What role did your sister play in the situation? We were looking at places together. So it was like kind of both of us wanting to take that step forward in moving out. She didn't she didn't really like pay much attention to it. She was more of the type of person to like brush things off quick. And as I like sat down and like cried about it, she was just like suck it up like it's not that serious. How did you guys resolve the problem? So it's funny because my dad's never the type of person to apologize. And neither are we because we're not the type of people to be like confrontational or even like, we have too much pride to, like, be like, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. So, um, after a while, like, we didn't speak to each other much because, obviously, we were upset at each other. I was in my room because I didn't want to interact with anybody and I was upset. So, he comes into my room, my dad. He's like, you know, are you hungry? Like, do you want any Chinese food? And that's kind of his way of apologizing kind of like breaking the ice i was just like no because i wasn't gonna give in a couple days went by i was still wasn't i still wasn't talking to him and i was still upset he pulled me aside again and that was when he apologized and he was like i know i was wrong and you know um sometimes when i'm upset i don't know how to you know handle the situation he said he was sorry and yeah and then i was like you owe me a new mirror you could say that pride played a big role, especially in your part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pride, yeah. And it comes from him, too, because we're, we're alike in so many ways. And he has a lot of pride. That's why I was surprised when he actually mustered up the courage to apologize, because it's not of him to apologize. Do you think you could have done anything differently or handled it any better? Like, based on the type of person that you are? If I would have explained myself, even though he didn't let me, if I would have, like, like, kind of put my foot down and be like, yo, it was just a joke, then maybe he would have, it would have gone to a whole, a whole different direction. And if I wouldn't maybe made a joke about it, you being that my mom is very dramatic, um, then it wouldn't have resulted into my mirror being broken. Being that basically your mom here in the conflict is an outsider, did you ever talk to her about the situation? Like, what the what was her opinion on what was going on between you and your dad? Like when we joked about it, she didn't take it as a joke. She thought we were being serious, so that's why she took it serious. And she um approached my dad about it, um, because she, my mom's the type of person like you know if she knows something, my father has to know too. So it's kind of like. Being that we're, they're both our parents is something that they need to know. So basically the whole dilemma here was the miscommunication. Yeah. And kind of a telephone yeah. game. Yeah. Basically. Now yeah. I am going to ask you, based on your this whole conflict, what would be an advice, not that you would give to others, well, others could use it as well, but what is an advice that you could give to yourself? So this type of event doesn't happen again, based on the fact that your dad is a very important person in your life. My advice to myself would be, you know, if I do plan on doing something and it's not set in stone yet, and it's a serious situation kind of about like moving out is something that I should keep to myself. Being that my dad is important to me and I am his baby, I should take his feelings into consideration and how I could kind of let him know about it, but not joke around about it as I did. So after the conflict, has the relationship between you two changed? Is the tension gone? How is it? I definitely haven't brought up moving up anymore. <laughs> I mean, moving out anymore. Uh, we definitely are closer. Um, I still haven't moved out. Eventually, we will move out. Okay. And I did buy him a mirror, even though he didn't buy me a mirror. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, Rosalind, thank you very much for being my interviewer today and for contributing with me to, for my conflict resolution final project. Anytime. And 
Thank you again. <laughs> You're welcome.